Hello everyone, this is Logan59XP here, here for the final episode of the Nincast here on December 10th, 2024. And this episode has been a long time coming and frankly long overdue, so we're just going to get straight into it. So yes, this is the final episode of the series, and today I'm here to discuss essentially why is the series ending and what's going to be happening with the discussion videos going forward. So... Reason number one why the Nincast is ending, or to be more specific, why the name of the Nincast is being retired. The first reason is that the name itself, in my opinion, is totally obsolete. Because what is the Nincast? What does that name represent? The name the Nincast is, of course, supposed to be a shorthand for the Nintendo Podcast. But... It hasn't really been a Nintendo podcast, even dating all the way back to its precursor, Nintendo Act Date Radio style. Even back then, there were non-Nintendo discussion videos, but the real shift happened in Season 4, which launched in 2020. Starting from that season, I started to do way more videos about non-Nintendo things. Up until that point, it was mostly Nintendo with one or two other things here and there. But from Season 4, Season 5, Season 6, there was a lot more Xbox, PlayStation, and especially Marvel. Like, there were a good couple seasons where there was a lot of Marvel stuff. And the Nintendo stuff got mostly relegated to just predictions videos for directs, and that was about it. I wasn't really doing anything else at that point. Heck, there was a period of time where I felt like the Nincast became just predictions videos. I mean, if you look last year... I only did five episodes in 2023, and four out of the five of those episodes are predictions videos, I think. I think those five videos, if I remember correctly, were I did a video about the Mario movie and my thoughts on the Mario movie, and then I did a predictions video for the Xbox presentation for 2023, and then I think I did a predictions for a direct, and then the predictions for maybe another direct like both the, so like the june and september directs i think i might have done one for both but i know it, i at least did one and then i did a video for the predictions of the game awards which was the last episode of the series up until today so point being the series has not been a Nintendo series since Season 4, and it never truly really has anyway, but especially from Season 4. So, that's the first reason. Well, the first reason of the first reason. The first reason overall being why is the name obsolete and why I think it doesn't really make sense anymore. We'll get to Reason 2 afterwards, but getting to the second reason of the first reason, if you get what I'm trying to say here, <laughs> is... The, is the cast part. So, so the Nintendo part has not been accurate since Season 4, but the cast part has never been accurate, even from the very beginning, because what is a podcast really? A podcast, in my opinion, is a consistently releasing series that comes out like every day or every week, involving two or more people. The series has never been daily or weekly or monthly, it's just been whenever the heck I feel like doing one. And it's almost always just me. Now, if you go back to season four, sorry, not season four. If you go back to season two and three, there were a bunch of episodes that had other people in it. And in the recent seasons, once in a blue moon, I get Ethan on and we talk about like Pokemon or whatever. I think the last couple of ones he's been on have been Pokemon related. But for the most part, most of the discussion videos I've done have been just me. So it's not two or more people. And I've only ever had the two. I'm not really interested in doing a three-way for a discussion video, at least at the time, for the time being. Um, I, I much prefer just having the two. That's just me. That's a whole other conversation for another time. But the point is, most of the discussions are just me. There's not even another person there. So that's the main crux of that first point is, it's not Nintendo-focused, and it's not really a podcast because it fails the two main principles of what at least I think makes a podcast a podcast. So, reason number one why I'm getting rid of the name. The name is obsolete. It doesn't mean anything anymore. It's just a brand, nothing more. Reason number two is the name is a relic from a bygone era. 
that being the era when the channel was called Nintendo Addict 8. That's how long the name has been around. For those of you that have been around since the early days of the channel, shout out to you guys, by the way, if you're still around. I know that some people are still around, but I can't imagine it's many. But for those of you guys that remember the early days of the channel, that first year in particular, from summer 2015 to summer 2016, the channel was called Nintendo Addict 8. But I changed it to Logan 59 XP, the name I have to this day, and the name I have no intention of getting rid of. The reason why I changed that name was specifically because I knew that having the channel have being so explicitly and blatantly tied into Nintendo would hold the channel back. It would limit the kind of videos I could do and have people taking them seriously. Because I wanted to do videos on Xbox and PlayStation, but I also wanted to do videos on like PC hardware and stuff. Something that hasn't really materialized over the years for the most part. But the point is, I wanted to talk about other things. Heck, what if I wanted to talk about something that wasn't gaming related at all? You know, I couldn't do that video and have people take it seriously because the channel was called Nintendo Addict Day, you know, for a variety of reasons, you know. So, I got rid of the name for that reason. I wanted to have a name that was completely neutral and brand agnostic. Even if the channel still mostly focused around Nintendo, I didn't want the name to literally be in the title, right? I didn't want it to literally be Nintendo Addict Day. I wanted it to be a neutral name. And that's the other reason why I want to get rid of the Nintendo is because it's not neutral. <laughs> it's got the word, it's got Nin in it. It's inherently not neutral. It inherently means that, hey, doing an episode where I talk about Xbox or PlayStation on a series called the Nincast is inherently going to turn people off. I don't know how many, but I just, I'm sure there has been someone over the years that has stumbled upon my channel and has seen one of the videos I have done about Xbox or PlayStation or whatever, and they'll see that it's got the Nintendo Direct style logo, and they'll see that it says the Nincast, and they will immediately write it off because obviously it's not, there's no, like, you know, that's just how it is, right? You know, it's how we as humans work, I guess, with that kind of stuff. And this applies to anything, right? You know, an Xbox channel talking about PlayStation, PlayStation channel talking about Xbox, you know, Marvel channel talking about DC, you know, whatever. This applies to literally anything. You know, <laughs> any anything ever, but so yeah, those are the two main reasons. The name is obsolete, and the name is a bygone relic from when the channel was more closely associated with Nintendo explicitly. So, those are the two main reasons I want to get rid of it. I think those are reasonable reasons, in my opinion. I still like the name overall, but it just doesn't fit anymore, and it's frankly been around long enough, and I think it's had a good run. And frankly, the last season or so, I kind of was feeling like the series might be kind of running on fumes a little bit. Well, maybe not running on fumes, but I kind of felt like it was getting to a point where it was probably about time to retire it anyway, so... That's the long and short of it. Apologies if that whole explanation maybe wasn't the best thought out. I'm, I'm, I'm recording this at like 1 a.m., after like many attempts at recording this, so this might not be the best recording ever of this conversation I could do, but it's the recording you're gonna get because this is long overdue and I need to record this already. <laughs> so yeah, those are the two reasons why I'm getting rid of the Nincast. The name is obsolete, and the name is a bygone is a relic from a bygone era that where the channel was more closely associated with Nintendo and I don't want that association to be there in the name explicitly. Obviously the channel is and probably always will be centered around Nintendo mostly, but I want there to be room for me to talk about other things and have people take those videos seriously and not just write them off. And you can't do that if you have a series on the channel called The Nincast. Or if the channel is called Nintendo Act Day. Now, of course, I, I changed that way back in 2016. But you get the point. So, those are the reasons. So, if I'm going to get rid of the Nincast, what's going to replace it? Because there has to be a replacement, right? Because I still want to do discussion videos. I just don't want to have that explicit brand tie-in. So, what do I change it to? So, you would think that, okay, well, way back in the day when you changed the channel from Nintendo Act Date to Logan 59 XP... Why not just do something similar to that? So instead of the Nincast, why not have it be the Logan cast? Okay, that's, that's, that's a bad name, obviously. But, like, I don't know, the, the LK cast or whatever. Just change it to something like that. And I thought about that, 
And I don't like that name. I think that, that doesn't sound nearly good enough. That, that sounds too generic and not good. But I can't think of a good name either. I've tried. <laughs> so here's what I've decided. We're not going to have a brand name. We're not even going to really have a series. I mean, we are going to have a series, but it's not going to have like a specific like brand name, you know, like other podcasts do. You know, how, like, for example, Linus's podcast is, you know, The Wan Show or Moore's Law is Dead is Broken Silicon or whatever, you know. And obviously other shows just are called what they are. Like, for example, you know, Joe Rogan is just Joe Rogan. But there's a lot of podcasts out there that have specific brand names to distinguish what they are. And they're not just The Blank Podcast. I don't want my name to be The Blank Podcast. I want it to be an actual original name like The Wan Show or Broken Silicon. But I can't think of one. So we're not going to do that. We're just going to not do a brand name at all. So here's what we're going to do instead. What we're going to do instead is the series is just going to be... It's going to be a series still, but it's not going to have a specific name. So what's going to be called? Nothing. That probably sounds really confusing. So let me explain what I mean by that. The videos are going to be titled like regular videos, and the thumbnails are going to be regular thumbnails. The Nincast thumbnails have always been separate, but especially from season four onward, when I went with that Multimedia J radio style thumbnail with like the three sections where it's very cookie cutter, like that's going away. And instead, we're going to be replacing it with regular thumbnails. I already have like a couple of thumbnails made up for videos I want to do or discussions I want to do. And they're basically regular thumbnails, like they would be for the main series. The only difference is to distinguish that it's a discussion video that's audio only with just an image like the Nincast has been, and not a regular video like with the main series. I'm going to have a banner, essentially a logo for the series, that says discussion video and it's going to have like mics on it. So if you see a video in your feed that has that in the thumbnail, that will be your signifier that this is a discussion video, meaning it's audio only and not a regular video. But I'm not going to put discussion video in the title of the video. It's just going to be in the thumbnail. But otherwise, the thumbnail is going to be a regular thumbnail with like images and stuff as opposed to just text with a faded background. So that's going to be what the series essentially turns into. It's essentially, from a practical perspective, not really going to change much. It's still going to be just voiceover with a static image. It's still gonna be basic, and that's the point. They're supposed to be easy to make. That's the entire purpose of the discussion series, is to not be a properly produced video that takes time to make. And also something you can shoot out if there's like really big news you wanna talk about. So that aspect of the Nincast is not going away, but the branding is going away and the thumbnail style is gonna be completely changed. But aside from that, that's really about it. <laughs> Despite how big of a deal this may sound, in practice, it's not going to really make that much of a difference. From your guys' perspective, the only thing that's really going to change is the name and the thumbnail. But aside from that, it's pretty much going to be the same thing. At least for the time being. I, I will admit, I did flirt around with doing a major revamp. Like, including, like, a proper intro. Like... An animated intro, <laughs> like not animated as in I like, drew it, but like, but like I was gonna have like a proper intro with like intro music and stuff. But then I was thinking about, do I really want to do that for every video, and do, do I want to have the text line up? It's like I thought about it, and I was like, you know, that's a cool idea, and I have a prototype for it that I may show off in the stream at some point because I do really like the idea of it. But I was kind of like, eh. Nah, the entire purpose of the discussion series is that it's supposed to be basic and simple. It's not complicated by trying to add a fancy intro. So, again, the Nincast, from a format perspective, is basically not going anywhere. But the name and the thumbnail style is being retired. And also because of that, we're not going to do any more seasons. So, the Nincast... Um, has been in seasons, right? We have season one, season two, season three, four, five, six, seven, and then Nintendo Act 8 Radio Sus Radio Style is season zero. That's going away. We're not going to do seasons. It's just going to be a regular video. There's not going to be a number either. I, I thought about doing a number. Like I liked the idea of starting from the beginning, because I've never done numbers for the Nincast. The Nincast has had seasons, but it's never had numbers. It's never been, hey, you know, this is the Nincast episode 131 or whatever. Like, we've never done that. 
So I thought about maybe, okay, we can start with the new series and there'll be episode one, episode two. We could do that. And I liked the idea of that on paper, but if there's not going to be a proper name for it, then why even bother? Like if I had a proper name for the series, then I would probably do an episode number. I wouldn't do seasons. We're, we're, we're ditching the season concept entirely. That was, a, that was a neat idea at the time I did it and I liked the idea of it. But it wouldn't make sense for a new series that doesn't have a proper name. Plus, with how infrequently I upload it, it doesn't really make sense anyway. So, the season format's also going away. So, again, the apologies, apologies if this is not the best discussion ever. Again, I'm recording this at like 1.30 in the morning, and I'm kind of tired after many times trying to record this. But, essentially, the long and short of it is this. The name is being retired for the reasons I have explained. And it's going to be replaced with essentially the same thing, but under a new um, thumbnail style and with a non-existent name. But will still be clearly labeled so you can tell what videos are which. So, for those of you that may... Maybe you guys have already noticed this, but for those of you that haven't, for the longest time on the channel... On the front page, the very first playlist is the main videos. And then the one after that has been whatever the current season of the Nincast has been. Well, right now, I already changed this a little while ago, but I haven't changed it. So now it's just discussion videos. And that includes every discussion video I've ever done across any of the channels. So that's all the, all the Nincasts are in there from season one to seven, including the discussion as well as the discussion videos from early from uh, from 2019 and early 2020 on the secondary channel and the marvel talk is also in there as well as as well as the old nintendo addict day radio slash radio stuff so they're all in there all of them going way back to the beginning are in that one playlist and that's going to be the playlist for all of them going forward i am also probably going to get rid of the individual season playlists for the nincast at least the ones in like the podcast section that have like the little unique cards on them which i do like but again if the series isn't really going to be a thing anymore then it's kind of not worth having but I don't know, i'll decide on that later but essentially that's what's happening so yeah that's really about it <laughs> this might not be the most eventful way i, I was going to do this big dramatic thing where i went through the history and i like i did it made it made it, made it like a way bigger deal but honestly i mean i wanted to acknowledge its end because it's been around so long and it is a historic series. But at the end of the day, it's not really going to change that much. It's mostly just a name and thumbnail refresh. That's about it. Aside from that, the Nincast is not really going away from a practical perspective. So, yeah, that's basically that. Um, again, apologies that it's taken me this long to finally do this. But I have to do it now because, of course, the the, the Game Awards, the new, the new Game Awards for 2024 are happening on the 12th. Which means that if I want to record my obligatory predictions video for it in the new thumbnail style and format then i have to do it soon so i have to get this video out first or else because it'd, be, it'd be weird for me to put out because it would be weird right if i put out the new thumbnail style and format first and then did the final episode of the nincast like no i, I got i gotta end the nincast first and then do that <laughs> and just to be clear I think I already said it, but I already have a bunch of ideas for... Uh, I already have a bunch of thumbnails ready um, for the new um, thumbnail format, for the new discussion videos. I already have about five of them made. I even showed them, I think, in my last stream at the very end. If you want to see what I'm... If you want to see the thumbnails, um, I teased them uh, in one of the last streams I did. But anyways. So yeah, that's about it. Um, so yeah, uh, the Nincast, uh, you've, been, you've served me well, you've been around for a long time, but I think it's time to retire you, and retire you for good, so, long live, so yeah, rip the Nincast, you served me well, but it's about time that you walk off into the sunset after many years of faithful service, so, that's about it, so stay tuned for the revamped discussion video thumbnail style and whatnot coming soon the very first episode will be that predictions video for the game awards and it's going to have the actual logo in it for once instead of just the generic text <laughs> again i think the thumbnails are going to look a lot better compared to the nincast thumbnails not that i had any not that there was any problem with the nincast thumbnails they were cookie cutter on purpose but 
but I, but I think the new thumbnails I'm working on are going to look a lot better. And people are probably going to be more likely to click on them, too, because they're going to look more like actual videos. <laughs> so there's that, too, I guess. But again, I'm going to have that clear distinction with the discussion video thing in it, so you know it's a discussion video. But it's still going to look a lot better. So I think this change is all going to be for the better. And it finally lays to rest the last vestige of the Nintendo Attic Day era of the channel that we can finally move on from. And now we don't have anything on the channel that is strictly tied to Nintendo anymore, which I think is a good thing and for the best. Even though, again, like I said before, the channel is probably always going to be centered around them because the fact of the matter is it's the thing I like talking about the most. There's a reason why most of the videos on the channel I've done over the years have been about Nintendo. It's not because I don't have other interests. I obviously do, and I've talked about them to some extent on this channel already, but they're the thing I like talking about the most because they're the thing I care about the most. <laughs> But again, I want to have that flexibility. I want to be able to talk about other things, have people take them seriously. So, but again, I already talked about that whole thing. I'm not going to rehash it again. So that's going to be it for me. Stay tuned for the new discussion videos coming soon. Again, that very first episode for the Game Awards will be coming out probably either later today or tomorrow. You know, sometime before December um, 12th, obviously. And then after that, I have a couple other episodes I want to do. Um, again, I've already teased some of them in that stream I did. I think it was the I think it was the last Smash stream I did for the 10 year anniversary of Smash Wii U. So if you want to see a sneak peek of some of the uh, discussion videos, I at least want to do. Obviously, no promises that all of them are going to get made. But I have about like five thumbnails ready for including that uh, Game Awards thumbnail already ready. If you want to see them, you can go check out the the, the very end of that last Smash stream I did. If you want to check them out. And with that being said. This is Logan59XP, and I'll see you guys next time.